so first i think um we are optimistic that we will get uh, effective treatments for hemorrhagic strokes in the coming years there are several studies uh, on the way and even uh, at ESOG, we will have presentations of such studies. So this would be, of course, a major step forward because at the moment it's really very frustrating that for this group of patients with very poor prognosis, we don't have any evidence-based treatment. Um, second is that I think treatment will shift to the pre-hospital setting. I think waiting for the patients at hospital is becoming outdated. Uh, because um, we know that time is brain is so important. And what we see in the recent MSU studies, both in Germany and in the United States, is that um, treatment within the first hour after um, onset of stroke symptoms is extremely effective. And also, so mobile stroke units and maybe in the future other diagnostic devices are able to diagnose, is, uh, diagnose large vessel occlusions. And then with this knowledge, we know where, where we have to deliver the patient. Uh, so that we shouldn't treat these patients in hospitals without endovascular service if they have a large vessel occlusion that needs endovascular treatment. Um, I'm not sure whether we will see um, progress in um, neuroprotective um, treatment. Um, I also think that we will uh, get more positive trials in neurorehabilitation. There are new approaches there, um, but the, really the major challenge is to um, apply these new approaches to the right patients. So we will see whether we will have um, good news in these areas as well.